man here. It's the Tom Likas Show. Tom Likas, you rat bastard. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. It had the lowest ratings in history. You hear about this? The lowest TV ratings in history. The Golden Globe Awards on NBC. The ratings are in, and it has the lowest ratings ever. Now, you may recall, the Golden Globe Awards last year did not happen because of the writer's strike. When there was a writer's strike, a uh, number of the the big-name celebrities who normally attend the Golden Globes and make it the show that it is, what kind of show is it? Well, that's right, something, uh, <laughs> a show that gives uh, bored housewives and gay men something to do on a Sunday night. Yes, that's what it is. Last year, most of the celebrities said they were not coming because of the writer's strike, and so... Uh, the award show was essentially canceled. They replaced it with a press conference where they announced the winners. But uh, according to what I read, the ratings this year were even lower than for that. Which goes back to something I've been saying about values uh, are changing during the recession. And uh, I think the idea of watching a bunch of rich people prancing down the carpet with $10,000 dresses on is uh, maybe not people's favorite form of entertainment now that they're all worried about losing their houses, losing their jobs, having their cars repoed. Maybe the Golden Globe Awards is not what they want. Maybe it's one of those things that, uh, at least for now, has uh, outlived its usefulness. But there you have it. Golden Globe Awards. Every year you've got that red carpet. Every year you've got uh, male entertainment reporters prancing down the red carpet trying to uh, catch up to all the big stars. And uh, every year when the uh, big stars uh, step up to the plate, we take a look at them and we get a look and then we have our own award show. So it's time now for the, I don't know how many annual, how many have we done now? It's about eight or nine of these, at least. Let's call it the 10th annual Tom Likas Golden Globes Awards. Ah, yes, the Golden Globes Awards. This is where we we give our awards to the... Women with the best pair of knockers. I was out on that red carpet. And um, there they were. We uh, got a look at some of these ladies. Let's take a look at who was out there this year. There's America Ferreira, who plays Ugly Betty. And uh, as usual, um, she has an outfit that uh, covers up the fact that she's got a little chunk of chunk of action going on there. Uh, also, what kind of bra is that she was wearing? One of those old-fashioned torpedo push-up bras or something. Um, you know, I love Latinas, but uh, there are exceptions to every rule. <laughs> and America Ferreira, just not my cup of tea. I'm sure I'm not her cup of tea either, but what are you going to do? Angelina Jolie. Now, Angelina Jolie is somebody who I think most straight guys are sick of. Mainly because, from our point of view, she leads that Brad Pitt around the world by the nose to uh, find uh, children to adopt. Well, the, the adopting children thing, that's fine. That That's okay. But uh, to most guys, Brad Pitt just looks pussy whipped. And the price of uh, being able to see Angelina Jolie naked and have sex with her all the time, I think most men have decided it's too great. Now, I'm no expert on outfits, but this particular outfit doesn't show us much. But um, I, for one, am sick of Angelina Jolie. I don't know. I guess I know too much about her. Now I'm looking at a picture of Beyonce. Beyonce always looks great. 
you just want to eat Beyonce like a big piece of chocolate cake. Look at that. And she has got beautiful breasts, just amazing, and they're just popping out of this dress she was wearing. Oh, fantastic. That Jay-Z is a lucky man. Tell you what. Alexi Hente approves. Very nice. Now I'm looking at uh, one Blake Lively. And I must say that she doesn't look very lively in this photograph. <laughs> Blake looks bored. Blake looks like she'd rather be anywhere but at the Golden Globe Awards. Uh, she does have a nice pair of knockers, but there is a... At least this dress appears to give her a bit of a paunch. Like, sometimes you shouldn't make the dress so tight, you know what I'm saying? Gary, did you uh, pick up on that little paunch there? You can see, you can kind of see the outline of her navel through the dress. And then uh, a little bit of uh, beer gut there. So, uh, I don't know. Lots of uh, women with beer guts have nice boobs. That's the way it goes. Brooke Burke. What does she do these days, Brooke Burke? Does anybody know? Oh, Dancing with the Stars. I should have asked one of my gay friends. They could have told me. Believable. Brooke Burke. Uh, nice boobs. A little saggy, I suspect. I'm I'm guessing, and again, because I haven't got my hands on these, I'm guessing they're a little... Uh, I, you know, I'm sure she's a member of SAG, and uh, <laughs> that, that's what I'm suspecting here, just by the way they're hanging in this dress. But uh, we decide, by the way, on the Golden Globes Awards on the Tom Likas show, who has the best breasts in Hollywood, and the Golden Globe Awards are a good time, a chance to sample the wares, and then uh, the next day we always come back with the Golden Globes Awards, and we want to see who you think has the the most uh, beautiful breasts, the Golden Globes, as it were. Uh, you can start calling in now if you've got opinions about this at one eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. It's one eight hundred five eight hundred eight six six. Cameron Diaz, um, get a little long in the tooth. Past her expiration date, as far as I'm concerned. I like her personality. When I see her, she's funny. And uh, she might be a cool chick to hang out with. Just a little old for my taste. Christina Applegate. What happened to her face? Did she do something to her face? And uh, we also know, didn't she have a double mastectomy this year and she's on the Golden Globes Awards? I can't tell what's under that dress. I have no idea what's in there. No idea. She's uh, certainly a past contender for this award. I can't tell you about it now. Deborah Messing. Here is somebody. Remember, she was on Will and Grace, a show that I never watched, but of course many, many of my gay friends have. And uh, I must say that uh, here is somebody who gay men and homely and fat women think is just the hottest thing. They just think she's great. But no straight male I know <laughs> wants to get with her. Long in the tooth at all. It's just the way guys feel. What are you going to do? To me, more. To me, more looks good. She does. I'm not a fan of the fake boobs, and it was what I had always heard is that she had them. But she looks good. Not exposing a lot in this dress she wore to the Golden Globe Awards. But, uh, you know, I mean, though she's had some work done. Many have had work done. She looks pretty good for her age. You got to put that proviso in there. Elizabeth Banks, very wholesome. Not much in the Bristol department. Not much going on down there. Not a contender in my view. Eva Mendez, you can imagine, one of my top faves. Fantastic. And there's definitely some Bristol action going on there. You can see it. And it uh, looks uh, very, very nice. If you've got brown skin and big boobs, please. Keep the lines open. She's fantastic. I like her. Definitely a contender. Hayden Panettiere, uh, there she is in a black dress. 
Uh, looks pretty good. Looks like she had some kind of a makeover to make her look much older than she is. We all know how young she is. That's all you ever read about her is how young she is. But uh, in here, she kind of got a Hollywood glamour makeover. Kind of looks like one of those uh, Hollywood stars of the past. And as a result, they make her look about five, six, seven years older. And I see what they were trying to do here. Nice body. Very nice. Uh, here is Marissa Tomei. Now, Marissa Tomei, what happened to her? Not that she was ever a bathing beauty to start with, but this photograph I see of her is extremely unflattering. Gary, you look at this picture? Marissa Tomei? Unbelievable. Is this a hippie thing going on here? Is this, uh, I don't know what this is. And if she has boobs, I can't see them. <laughs> this, 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 um, uh, canvas sack that she's wearing, whatever that is. Uh, Megan Fox always looks good. Looks very good here. Very nice. I'm not a fashion expert. I can't talk about the dress she's wearing, but, you know, again, this is one place where the tats just don't work. You know, she's got that tat on her right arm. And come on, you can't have Hollywood glamour and that big, ugly tat on your right arm. Well, that's that's my criticism there. Penelope Cruz. I would never say no to Penelope Cruz. I don't care how old she gets. Look at that. That is fantastic. Not showing much, but the dress, uh, you can kind of follow the outlines. You can kind of see what's going on there. Very nice. Always a fave. Beautiful. And none of those ugly tats. My goodness. Now, here's a weird one. Uh, this uh, Renee Zellweger, what is going on here? I, first of all, uh, <laughs> she's always got some weird look on her face. I don't know how to describe that look, but uh, she kind of looks like she's surprised to be there. Or like she doesn't feel like she fits in with what's going on. I, I can't tell what's going on in this picture I'm looking at. But... Uh, very strange. She's standing in front of a light, which probably is not helping the situation. Like some big floodlight that's on the ground aiming up. So it kind of makes it look a little unflattering. Uh, what has she got under there? Is that a bra? Is that uh, like a see-through uh, thing and you can see the bra underneath? I don't know. I guess just because she's played a fat chick in so many movies, I just don't see her as a sex symbol. I don't. Another one that uh, gay men and chicks really think is cute and uh, straight guys don't. Just an opinion. Rumor Willis, uh, you may have your opinion about Rumor Willis. Uh, my opinion, not my type. Maybe she's your type. Um, You know, very, very white skin, like super white. Like an ivory soap bar. And, uh, you know, if you like that kind of thing, great. And uh, then, of course, the love of my life. There she is, Salma Hayek. Holy cow. Who has a body like that? Who looks like that? It's like a cartoon character. Who has a body like that? She looked horrible when she was pregnant. i got to say, we saw some unflattering pictures of her when she was pregnant. But now you see her, she looks amazing. She was on 30 Rock uh, last week. You see she's like uh, doing like a story arc on 30 Rock. Have you seen that? There she is. And a dress that just shows you her best assets. Holy cow. Still one of my all-time faves, Salma Hayek. Uh, Vanessa Hudgens, what is this pose she's always striking? I don't quite get it. You know, she always... Uh, I'm, I don't know how to describe that pose... But she always has that, that look in her eyes like, like, uh, I'll meet you after the show is, is what it is. I, I don't know. It's, I, I can't really put a read on that. Now, I'd be lying if I told you I did not see the naked photo of her that I was not supposed to see because it was out there on the internet. And, uh, she looked pretty good naked. I got to tell you. And she's definitely my type. There's no doubt about it. But, uh, I don't know. The personality is kind of a turn off, but nice. Knockers. Not huge, but very nice. So those are just some of the women who appeared at the Golden Globe Awards last night on NBC. 
Not a big audience for that, according to what I heard. But nonetheless, here we are with our own award show, the Golden Globes Awards, is where you get to to vote on the best breasts in Hollywood. If you've got a vote, call it and give it to us now. Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-8666. The Tom Likas Show. The Tom Likas Show with our annual Golden Globes Awards. <laughs> Where you get to vote for the best breasts in Hollywood. Let us start with Ben on the Tom Likas Show. Hey, Tom, how you doing? Doing okay. I, uh, I wanted to say, she didn't look very good last night. But if you saw her in The Wrestler, Marissa Tomei has the Globes of the Year. Hard to believe. I know. She looked awful last night. But watch The Wrestler. She spends a good 25% of her time in the movie naked. And she looks. It, they're, they're amazing. They're perfect. Now I'll have to see it. It's, it's, it's worth it just for that. It's a great movie otherwise. But really, it's worth it just for that. All right, Marissa Tomei will put that down, though I find it hard to believe. 1-800-5800-TOM is your telephone number. Chris on the Tom Likas Show, hello. Hey, Tom, I'm a first-time, long-time. Thank you. Uh, you said Golden Globes, and the first thing that came to mind was Selma Hayek last night. Oh, she looked amazing. Yes, she looked amazing. And uh, there's photos of everybody on the red carpet. If you go online, you can see these. Yeah. Oh, my yeah, God. Yeah. The, the, the dress she's wearing just shows off everything she's got. Yeah, just fantastic. She's always looked great, though. Except when she was pregnant last year. Who boy. Yeah. Yeah. But, I mean, last night, just beautiful. Hey, you're absolutely right. Salma Hayek, my, an annual contender for this award. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Let's say hello here to Chris on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Tom, how you doing? I'm doing okay. Another Chris, another vote for Sama Hayek's beautiful rack. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, man. Was that dress not just showing off that enormous pair? And she's kind of a cougar for you, isn't she? What's she, 42 or 43 years old now? Yeah, you know what, though? She's as beautiful as the first time I've ever seen her. Oh, and you know what? Something else that doesn't quite come across to, you know, you might know, but a lot of people may not, that... That beautiful body, she is five feet tall, buddy. Yes, yes, I know. Believe oh, me, I know. All right, thanks a lot, Tom. Chris. Can you take me out Kobe style? Yes, yes, I can. Oh. Oh. This is about us. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Yeah, it beats in my heart. Oh. Yeah, the air I breathe. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. It's the annual Golden Globes Awards on the Tom Likas Show. Who's got the best breasts in Hollywood? Let's say hello here to uh, Eric on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey Tom, how you doing, brother? I'm doing okay. Hey, I have a write-in vote for you because I'm not sure if she was at the Golden Globes last night, but that would be none other than Punky Brewster, Soleil Moon Fry. Oh. Yeah, well, she uh, had great knockers. She had uh, breast reduction surgery, if I recall correctly. She did, and she will still win these awards hand down. Hand yeah. down. And, and silicone free, I might add. No well, uh, obviously, if you're having breast reduction surgery, you don't need silicone, do you? No, no, no. So, so do you have two categories, a bolt-on category and a natural category? No, 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 because we don't really know for sure everybody who's a bolt-on and who isn't. We're just guessing. That That, that is true, unless you've had your hands in uh, the cookie jar. <laughs> That's exactly right. Which is where I like to keep them, Soleil Moon Fry. Okay. 1-800-5800-TOM. We're talking about the best breasts in Hollywood, the annual Golden Globes Awards. Christian, hello. Hey, Tom, how you doing? Great. Hey, I was going to say, um, uh, my vote is for Megan Fox. And uh, I was my fiancé was listening to the uh, the red carpet thing, and uh, I guess even like the, the lady hosting it was commentating on that, too. Or commenting on uh, her breasts and says she, could, she wish she could have a pair just like them. Megan Fox? 
Oh, Megan Fox, yeah, yeah. But since you brought up uh, Selma, because I didn't see her on, I didn't see her picture yet. I gotta give her a tie for number one as well. Yeah, she. She made me a true believer in Desperado. <laughs> <laughs> one of the few movies where she actually got naked. That's right. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. Let's say hello here to uh, Paul on the Tom Likas show. Tom, my man, how are you? I got to tell you, this is my favorite thing you do all year. I never miss it. It's my favorite thing, man. Love that. Yeah, I got to give a shout out to uh, that redheaded chick on Mad Men, Christina Hendricks. Now, here's the thing about Christina Hendricks. Uh, everything. First of all, her her figure is outrageous on Mad Men. A show that only a million people watch, by the way. But I'm one of them, and so are yeah. you. I only watch for the tight sweaters. I mean, that's yeah. the reason to watch. I, and her body looks outrageous. But uh, I saw a picture of her in the L.A. Times. I strongly suspect that they've done things to manipulate her body so it has that very, very curvy hourglass look that she isn't really that extreme in real life. Well, I'll manipulate her body if that's what needs to be done some more. <laughs> I, Christina Hendricks. All right, we'll put her on the list. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Robert on the Tom Like His Show. Hello. Hey, how you doing, Tom? I'm doing great. Big fan. Hey, I just wanted to vote for Eva Mendez. She looked beautiful last night. Eva Mendez. Oh, yeah. yeah. She looks great every night. What's that? She looks great every every night I see her. She looks great. Oh, yeah, I wish you could be with me right now. <laughs> I know how you feel. Thank you for the call. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Let's say hello here to Zach on the Tom Likas Show. Tom, how you doing? Doing great. I want to give a vote for a sexy, sexy Megan Fox. Megan Fox? Uh, oh, yeah, got to give a shout-out to her. Looking great last night with her Golden Globes. How do you feel about that big tat on her right arm? Uh, she's got some tattoos that are moving, but uh, other than that, she uh, she looks great still. I just think that when you go to an event like that, the tats kind of look all wrong. Yeah. They look yeah, right they when you're on the back of some guy's Harley, okay? But, uh, but when you're walking down the red carpet, it looks a little crazy. Yeah, I agree. I agree. You know, they're not they're not great. Maybe put something over your arms or something, wear a different kind of dress. But other than that, last night she looked smoking hot. Zach will put her down. Megan Fox on the Golden Globes Awards. Thank you for calling. Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. The Tom Likas Show. It's the Tom Likas Show. Heard now seven days a week. Well, six days a week for the Tom Likas Show. Saturdays, 2 to 6 p.m. Monday to Fridays, 3 to 8 p.m. as you head home. And then Sunday, the tasting room with Tom Likas from 5 until 7 p.m. Pacific time on 97.1 FM Talk at blowmeuptom.com. You'll hear us one way or the other. One eight, by the way, I heard our uh, Saturday ratings have literally, literally gone through the roof. Oh, yeah. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. It's our annual Golden Globes Awards for the best breasts in Hollywood. Joe on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. Great show. Love your show, man. Thank you. I uh, wanted to vote for one uh, kind of kind of uh, under the radar, but you shouldn't be. Anne Hathaway. She, Anne she Hathaway. A, yeah, she was in a movie. I forget what it's called, man, but she just reveals her globes, man, and it's it's beautiful. It's a beautiful thing. She's very young, very pretty face, everything, man. Great well, globes. She was, in, she was in Get Smart, wasn't she? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that was her, I think her, no, actually, yeah, yeah, that was her and with uh, Steve Carell, but uh, she did she did a movie when she was a little younger, and I mean she was already young, but man, she's she just reveals everything. I mean, uh, it's it's a man, great great globes for. Her. I, I love when they reveal everything. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, man. Thanks, Tom. Uh, or Bill O'Reilly, me. Bill O'Reilly style. Here you go. I can't do it. Okay. We'll do it live. Okay. We'll, no. we'll do it live. F it. Do it live. I can. I'll write it and we'll do it live. And thing sucks. It's one eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. Who has the best breasts in Hollywood? Aaron on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello. Hey, 
Hello. Hi. Um, I just want to say, I don't care who you are, gay, straight, man, woman, child, Sama Hayek has the best body I've ever seen. It's really amazing. It's, it's unbelievable. And if you don't think so, you're not human. <laughs> That's how I feel. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds to me like even you'd like to get with her. Oh, well, that's another conversation. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for that. Salma Hayek gets another vote. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Let's say hello here to Art on the Tom Likas Show. Hey, Tom, how you doing? Great. That's good to hear. Congratulations on the ratings. Thank you. I'll tell you, I'll tell you who's got the best breasts. Grace Park from Battlestar Galactica. I have never, ever, as you can imagine, never seen that show. You haven't? No. Oh, you've got to see her. Her <laughs> character's name, Boomer, does her justice. Really? I'm going to say. Boomer. Boomer. She is awesome. <laughs> well, thank you for that. We'll put her down. Grace Park. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Nicole on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Hi. I just wanted to say that Salma Hayek needs to win. Salma Hayek? Yeah, she has, like, the best rack ever. They are amazing. She has perfect boobs. I mean, all women should idolize her rack. <laughs> idolize her breasts? Mm-hmm. I didn't know you could idolize an inanimate object. Mm hmm Well, they're part of her, so they have their own characteristics. <laughs> Another vote for Salma. Unbelievable. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Let's say hello here to uh, Derek on the Tom Likas Show. Hello, Tom. Hello, Derek. Long time. I've been listening to you since the old Earthling days. It's been that long. Wow. I have the total Uber gilf. Total Uber gilf. Sigourney Weaver. <laughs> alien. Oh, my God. She can unload my power loader any day. <laughs> now, have you seen her recently? Yeah, last night. I, I have in Wikipedia. She's 59 years old. She yes. looks incredible. Look at that. I would not blow her out of my airlock. There is, I mean, a, there was, there is a bit of turkey neck going on there. Well, it's okay. It's all right. I mean, there was something <laughs> bursting out of that chest, and I tell you, it wasn't an alien. <laughs> incredible. It's incredible. like Gordy Weaver. Like, Talk about an old school vote. My God. Oh, that's why she's a gilf. A gilf. Does she have a child? Is she actually a grandmother? I have no idea. No idea when he puts it down as a gilf. All right. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone. Sigourney Weaver. Do you know how to spell that, Dean? It's a real throwback. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Enrique on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Dad. Hello, son. I would just like to place my bet, Eva Mendez. Eva Mendez. Hands down. She wins. <laughs> I know I'd like to put my hands down. I'll tell you what. Her dress. <laughs> <Yes, sir. laughs> would make two of us. Absolutely. She is hot, hot, hot. She is too much. Too much. <laughs> Sounds like you're getting all sweaty about it right now. I am. I am. I, I, I can't even lie about that. <laughs> she is just something else. Thank you, Enrique. Eva Mendez. Another vote for her. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Aaron on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. Hey. I just got to put in. How's it going? Great. I just got to put in a vote for uh, Scarlett Johansson, man. If you've ever seen that silhouette, you know what I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, she's got amazing breasts, and she's still really young, and uh, there's nothing bad about Scarlett Johansson. Nothing. Not at all, and she's all natural, and she's not into that, like, anorexic, I gotta stay thin, kind of to be a twiggy model type like the rest of those Hollywood chicks do, you know? Yeah, well, we'll see what marriage does to her. Oh, yeah, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> uh, can you blow me up uh, Kobe style? Kobe style? Yes, I can. Here you go. Oh. Oh. This is about us. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Yeah, it beats in my heart. Oh. Yeah, the air I breathe. Oh. She's so special to me. 1 800 5800 Tom is our telephone number. David on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, David. 
Man, I got to say, Salma Hayek, man. Hands down, <laughs> that woman is amazing. Wow. Look at this. Look at this landslide. It's unbelievable. It's just ridiculous, man. It's just, uh, you just want to get up, up in there. You know what I'm saying? You just want to get in there. <laughs> You just want to get in there. <laughs> I'll blow, blow me up, Tom. I'll blow you up, baby. Bobby on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, what's up, Tom? Not much. I can't believe people are overlooking Daniel Ramirez. Daniel Ramirez? Now, who is Daniel Ramirez? If you've never watched Heroes, that's one, two good reasons to watch. Really? Yeah, she plays the Hispanic chick, like, from Mexico or whatever. She's got, like, this weird power or whatever. Who cares about the storyline? She's hot. Hot, wow. hot, hot. I'm going to have to find out all about her. Check her out. All right. All right, thanks. Blow me up, Tom. Here you go, baby. One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom, it's our annual Golden Globes Awards, where we find out who you think has the best breasts in Hollywood. Jeremy on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, what's up, man? Long time listener. Just can't listen to you, man. I, I'm out in Palmdale. <laughs> really? Yeah, man. You know they, they don't got no good stations out there, but man, Eva Mendez, man, beautiful body, beautiful breasts, man. I'm telling you, she is. The hottest thing on earth. Wow. And Eva Mendez is one of my faves, and uh, she's gotten a couple of votes here as well. Oh, man. Blow me up, Kobe style. Kobe style. All right, here you go. Oh. Oh. This is about us. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Yeah, it beats in my heart. Oh. Yeah, the air I breathe. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Tom. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. The Tom Likas Show. The Likas Show. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of the program. We appreciate it. It is our annual Golden Globes Awards that follow the Golden Globe Awards. Golden Globe Awards, of course. The National Press choose all kinds of categories of TV and movies to win awards. And um, there's a big red carpet that has national TV coverage on NBC. And then the day after we've seen the TV coverage, we give you an opportunity to call in on our Golden Globes Awards and vote for the best breasts in Hollywood at 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Let's say hello to Daniel on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Tom. Yes. Long time, board time. <laughs> Thank you so much. And uh, I'm going to pick somebody not only because she's beautiful, but I did graduate from the same high school she did, and that's Eva Mendes. Eva Mendes. Yes, sir. She's getting a lot of votes. Yes, she is. So is Salma Hayek, but they're both they're both hot. Look at that, Daniel. Thank you for that. We'll put her down. One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom is our telephone number. Let's say hello here to Mike on the Tom Likas show. Hey, Tom. How you doing? Doing great. Awesome. You're doing a great job. Uh, for the Golden Globes, I think uh, underdog, not very well known, but. Mad Men star TV series they won last night, Christina Hendricks. Christina Hendricks of Mad Men. Yes. Now, have, have we actually gotten a good look at her knockers? Because I don't remember seeing hers last night. Did we see them? Oh, yeah. They were definitely on stage and coming out of that very, very well-covered dress. Just cannot hide those double Ds, I'll tell you right now. And they are double Ds, are they? Oh, yes. Mm. Yeah. S sounds good to me. But they're great. Thank you for that. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Here is Derek on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, Derek. Hey, man. Love, love the show. I've been listening since that uh, year you were on in Phoenix. Thank you. I uh, just want to put my vote in for the absolutely amazing Salma Hayek. Salma Hayek. Can't, I can't get over that that woman. Every time... I see her, or I hear that she's going to be on a award show. I'm like, well, let's see if she still looks good. And she always looks good. Really? 
every time. Yeah. Well, I, I, she's looked good. Like I say, she had that one period when she was pregnant. Right, right. And she somehow got photographed in public, and it was not pretty. Yeah. But I got to go with her, man. If I had to pick, like, for a close second, I'm like you. I like the dark-skinned ladies. I'd definitely go with Ava Mendez. But my vote goes definitely for Sam Hayek. Got it. Derek, thank you. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. David on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hi. Okay. I got another write-in vote for you. Um, Marissa Tomei, she actually just recently showed her knockers in The Wrestler. She's got a nice butt, too. Oldie but a goodie. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Very very nice. How old is she now? God, she's got to be late 40s, mid 40s. Yeah. I figured uh, as much. Yeah. If you could uh, travel with the Snoop Dogg. All right. Here you go. Baninge, 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 sopenza. Baninge, 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 sopenza. Kota lenenge, asika mama. Boya kota lenenge, asika mama. Bitch. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Let's say hello to Matt on the Tom Likas Show. Tom, congratulations on your ratings. Thank you. My vote goes for Sama Hayek. I just got to put this out there. Uh, she's gorgeous. Need I say more? I guess I should. Um, I read something where she likes to breastfeed. And since the point of this show is about breasts, I just I had to call in because I would drop the soup on her any second she asked. <laughs> uh, can you uh, take me out with a bong hit, please? Of course. One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom is our telephone number. Justin on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, what's going on, Tom? Not much. Hey, I gotta say, I show your love for the Latinas, Salma Hayek, you Mendes, hot for sure. But nobody's giving any love to Beyonce. I am really surprised because Beyonce has won our poll in the past, and she looked fantastic last night. And for whatever reason, she, th she has not gotten votes. You're the first one. Not only that, but she's the only one that gives me this uncontrollable urge to go for a glass of milk. <laughs> I don't think you want it out of a glass. <laughs> Thanks, Tom. Thank you. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Joe, on the Tom Likas Show, hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, Joe. Hi. Dig your show. Long-time listener. Have called in several times. I'm down with you. Selma Hayek has the most spectacular boobs I've ever seen, ever wanted to touch, ever wanted to be. Oh, my gosh. Really? Yes. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> but, okay, I have, having said that, I do have to throw somebody else out there that I don't think anybody's mentioned. Um, natural boobies, very, very nice. Drew Barrymore. Drew Barrymore, did, now, did I read that she once had a breast reduction as well? Uh, you know, I don't know, but they still look really great. She has those really fun kind of, you know, come on and play with me kind of boobs. Those are just <laughs> awesome. Well, you're a big fan of boobs, are you? You know what? I am, and my husband loves it. Of course you are. <laughs> you listen to this show. Let's say hello to Michael on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Michael. I'm going to nominate somebody that hasn't been nominated yet, and that's uh, Rosario Dawson. Oh, Rosario Dawson is fantastic. She is absolutely fantastic. Yeah, I remember seeing those boobs the first time on uh, White Man Can't Jump. <laughs> that's exactly right. <laughs> when they popped out. And oh. then they popped out again in Alexander. I could jump for those. Yeah. No matter they how white I am. <laughs> well, thank you for that. I appreciate it. Appreciate the call. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Let's say hello here to Scott on the Tom Likas Show. Hey, Tom, I wanted to cast my vote for Scarlett Johansson. All right. I believe the first thing I ever saw her in was Ghost World, and those things were enormous. I couldn't take my eyes off them. They are absolutely crazy. John on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How you doing? Great. First time caller. Cool. Hey, uh, Salma Hayek, she's got my vote. <laughs> she's got a lot of people's votes. 
Oh yeah, she's she's got them out there. She they're all over the place. <laughs> no doubt about it. Paul on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, Dad. How you doing, son? I'm doing well. I have to ask, say one thing. What is going on with Tina Fey in that outfit she was wearing? Oh boy, oh, that was bad. So you know, Tina Fey, great writer. I love Thirty Rock. Please, please stop put, trying to pass yourself off. Say some, please. Put those things away. Cover them up. Save them till when you get back to New York where guys think that's sexy. Okay, please. Selma, Selma Hyde, obviously, uh, number one right there. Uh, Tom, when you go out, when you go, do you go, have you gone to see Kenneth Volk? Um, I haven't been to Kenneth Volk yet, but that's one of the many that I'm going to visit. I, I'm doing one winery at a time in Santa Barbara County. So uh, it's one every weekend. Bottom line, I don't want to do uh, too many. It's Casey on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey. Hey. Oh, I was going to vote for Anne Hathaway. The movie where she flashes is in Havoc. It's a really good movie. But I hate Salma Hayek, so I'm going to vote for Eva Mendez to hopefully knock her out. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> You just don't like uh, Selma Hayek. That's what it is. No, she's irritating. Even <laughs> Mendez is hotter anyways. There we go. Tim on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, Dad. Son, how are you? I'm pretty good. How are you? Great. Just wanted to let you know I'm calling without a Bluetooth, and I can do that because I'm in an ambulance. <laughs> Through the law. <laughs> okay. <laughs> And I also wanted to ask you if I could put in two votes, because my partner's sitting along with me here. No, no, he's got to call it himself. What's your vote? <laughs> my vote's for Eva Mendez, definitely. <laughs> we were going to say Megan Fox because, you know, we were big fans of the uh, the Maxim spread. Yeah, but uh, you only got one vote. There you go. Number three in our voting, Megan Fox. Number two in our voting, Eva Mendez. And number one in our voting, again. Best Breast in Hollywood, our Golden Globes Award goes to Salma Hayek. The Tom Likas Show.